Lord, of whatever we speak. Lord, I pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you open up these kids' hearts to receive your word. I pray, Father God, that as we leave, oh God, we may have left an impact in these kids' lives, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Smith TV. This is your boy, Rob Smith. I am here in Mitchell's Plain, Cape Town. Here this morning, I'm heading to one of the schools here. I am so humbled and so appreciative to be able to go speak to the young people there. This is a day of destiny for me, a day that I could not have designed on my own. So I'm grateful this morning. This is a journey. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to go along with me on this journey. It's going to be great. I promise you. I'll show you in a little bit. See you soon. And today we all know that by our sisters and by our brothers that we see, you need your matric, am I right? Yes. So guys, my encouragement to you saw this morning, stay in school, educate yourself, because there's one thing that no one can take away from you, it's what you have up here. Stay in school, educate yourself, but also remember that you cannot do anything and you cannot achieve anything without the grace and the help of God. Mm. And if your teachers are, are, are nagging on you and if your mommy is saying go to school and you don't understand, you won't understand it now, but you will understand it. Let's think about America. What's some of the things that you guys think about? Let's go. Celebrities. Wait, let's go. What? Celebrities? <laughs> Money? Money? <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, so basically, you guys think that everything overseas is grand, right? Yes. But I want to let you know that everything is not that way. Let me give you a little bit about my story. So I was raised, I was, you know, born in America, apparently. I was born in Los Angeles. My mom shipped me to Michigan, which is in the middle of the country, because my dad kept trying to kidnap me. So my mom said, I gotta get my son out of here. So um, I went to Michigan Village, where it's really cold, grew up there. My mom ended up joining us a year later. Now, in, when I was growing up, that was a real uh, a time when the drug epidemic was just starting in the country. You guys heard of crack cocaine? Yes. That's, that was a very big drug when I was growing up. And unfortunately, my mother got addicted to crack cocaine. So I lived in a crack house. I lived in a house where drug dealers would come knocking on the door looking for their money. I lived in a house where um, sometimes you come home and the house is so cloudy because people have been getting high, um, smoking drugs. Um, I, I lived in that type of environment. And so that started to rub off on me. I became a product of my environment. I started stealing. I started smoking because I thought it was cool to smoke. You know, you know how your friends tell you, you know, you look grown up when you smoke. I, st I got into that. I started getting into gang life. I started drinking. But all of these things that I was doing was, was A, it was because I didn't have anything around me that looked different than where I wanted to be. I had no role models around me who could say, who came to my school and took the time out to say, you can do something different. I didn't have that. And, and secondly, I became a product of my environment. That's what they did, 
So I did, I did the same thing. And my life started to go downhill. I did those things because I was looking for an identity. Anybody, you guys know what identity is? When you look in the mirror, it's not about I'm black, I'm colored, I'm white. It's about who are you in here? Who is your identity? And when you are a servant of God, you realize that I am a king's child. So you know how it would seem privileged if Nelson Mandela would come adopt one of us, right? You'd be like, I get to live with Nelson, he got some money, you know, and all that stuff. Now, wouldn't we all love that? Now, think about if the person who owns, you see Saturn up there? Think about the person who created Saturn that says, you know what? I want to call you my child. And that's where we insert God there. God is so powerful, he created America, Saturn. Pluto, the lion, you, me, and if that kind of God is saying, I want to have a relationship with you, I want to be cool with you, I want to be your boy, and we have to get to a place where we say, you know what, I accept that. You understand? When I gained a relationship with God, a real relationship with God, things started to change. I was able to graduate from high school with, with good marks and good academics. God allowed me to go on to college. And I got my degree in communication and broadcast presentation. That's my that's my emphasis too. So rooting for you, sister. <laughs> <laughs> and um, God allowed me to do that. But but the mo what I want you to see is you know when you guys look at me, like you guys already said, money, house, girls, car. You think everything's been always right, right? You think everything's been okay, but it hasn't. But today I want you to see that. For someone to go from being homeless to at the age of 22, 23, I own my own home. That's God. Connect yourself with people who are where you want to go. You want to be a chef? Start looking on the internet for the best chefs in the world. Mm -hmm. Figure out their path. How did you get here? What school did you go to? How many years did you study? What was your specialty? and model your life after. Thank y'all so much. You guys have been an awesome audience. God bless you. Okay, so can we just close our eyes? Or do we all just close your eyes? Everyone's eyes closed. Everyone's eyes closed. I'm gonna ask Rob to do a special three for us, please. Just bless him. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you, Father, for the lives of these children, Lord God, these young people, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Father, for the generation that they represent, God. I thank you, God, Father, for their life, oh God, that, Father, when the enemy would have tried to snuff them out and take them out, God, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that they are survivors, Lord God, that they come through the fire, they come through the rain, and God, today, they stand in your presence, able to make a decision, Lord Lord God, to choose you, oh God, over sin, to choose you over circumstance, Lord. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that you would bless each and every life here, Lord. God, that you would allow them to get their education, create and birth in them an insatiable desire to learn, God. I pray, God, that you would put it in their appetite to want to learn, to want to grow, Lord God. I pray that you would birth a dream on the inside of them, Father, for those that do not have a dream. I pray that you will begin to show them their purpose, Lord, their talents that are on the inside. Every talent that you have sold into the life of these young people, I command it to come forth in the name of Jesus. Every skill that's been buried by depression, every talent that's been buried by labels that people have put on them, I command it to come forth. I speak to the leader in every one of them, and I command leader, come forth. Woman of God, come forth. Man of God, God, come forth. I pray, God, Father, against every word that has been spoken against their life. I pray, Father, for every depression spirit, every, Lord God, low self-esteem spirit, every spirit of insecurity, God. I pray, God, that you will show them who they are in you today, that they are beautiful in spite of where they come from, God, that they are wise, oh God. Father, that you love them more than life itself, Lord God. Don't let them be discouraged by their environment, Lord. Sometimes it doesn't look nice. Sometimes it's not beautiful, Lord. But in spite of that, we trust you that you can make all things well. We love you so much. In Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. amen. amen.